In this video, we play one of my favourite tanks in all of War Thunder, the infamous German Heavy with its 88mm cannon. This is the Tiger 1E, and yes, it's been moved up in battle rating. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing the Tiger 1E because it's been moved to 6.0. Now I can hear a lot of German mains already screaming out in anguish because not only this tank has been moved up to 6.0, some of the Panthers have as well. We've got the Panther A and the Panther G has been moved back up to 6.0 where they were originally. Now where this is an obvious negative change for anyone who mains Germany, it's actually a very positive one because it means that minor nations who only have one or two 5.3 tanks that really struggle against this anyway don't have to face a full lineup of them anymore and today i'm going to play this thing out to show you how to play it effectively hopefully you can learn something from this thing and the first lesson i'm going to give is with this thing shell now most people will naturally gravitate to the shell that has the most pen the APHE here has 165 millimeters of penetration this is the pzgr 39 however this is a big mistake. The shell you should be using is this guy right here. Good old plain Jane PZGR period. This thing has 153 millimeters of penetration, but it has over 200 grams of TNT equivalent. So for those of you who don't know, 200 grams is the threshold for overpressuring crew, which means on non-penetrating hits, specifically on open tops and light tanks, it will still kill the crew inside. And of course, on a penetrating hit, not only is there shrapnel damage, but there's overpressure damage as well. So now we've covered this thing's firepower, let's talk about its armor. We only have 100 millimeters of a front plate here, which is a huge weak spot, but if it's angled, this thing becomes an absolute nightmare. You wanna be roughly about 40 degrees, that's gonna give you extra armor on your front plate here, which makes it incredibly difficult for people to take you out. And on the side as well, it means that it makes it much harder for them to kill you. The mantlet should always be facing the enemy. A slight angle on this will help you a lot because it'll stop people from shooting your barrel, which is your obvious weak spot and the easiest one allies go for. And because your mantlet is two plates that overlap, this makes it a volumetric nightmare. So a very unpleasant shot for allies to make. In order to play the Tiger one effectively, you really need to work to get your kills. And and not only that, you really need to work to get your survivability out of the vehicle. If you face the enemy head on, you will die. If you're full side on to the enemy, you will die as well. Like most German vehicles, they are not good brawlers, but from mid to long range, they can be an absolute nightmare. Nothing scares me more than a good player in a Tiger 1 this angled. Very difficult to deal with. Anyway, let's get into battle and I'll show you how I got on. All right, and here we go. Um, this is the last time we'll play this map, probably. The new patch is getting removed. I've just looked at my entire team forming a conga line to die. So we're going to have to look after the B-cap, as usual. Don't don't ever... If, if For the last remaining moments of this map being in the rotation, this is why it's being removed. Don't go there. What's the point? You can't control any caps. After the next two minutes, no one's ever going to spawn back there ever again. Because they know they're shooting at you. Hey, you won't get any kills. Hey, it's such a boring way to play. Not very effective either. That was a really brave move for a Sherman, I have to say. Right, we found a home. A charioteer. Okay, two brave guys straight off the rip, dude, and they're all gone. I think there's another one by there. <laughs> My dude is yelling. There is another one by there. Right, now at least we'll be able to see him if he peeks out. Come on, come to daddy. You speak out a little bit further, there's three of them on that corner. Absolute psychos. Maybe I'll well do a back up a little bit more and then harder to see me. And my team's actually pushing up, I'm surprised. Panther D coming. I aimed too low and... Oh, 
Is that an M4 A2? Can you can someone explain to me how I never pinned that guy? Just rushing things, right? That is a PT-76 firing at me. Alright, he just get down Mr. President and the guy that's behind him. And now he's gone. What what else is shooting at me here? It's a Jackson. Oh, I was wondering what was going on. Could have died. Right. We are dead, I think. That's a big bomb, but he bounced off a wall. Hold on tight, dude. I'm getting you repaired up. That man made a mistake. Right, so far, so good. Mr. Panther. We have to go get the B cap. But we also need to thin out the herd a little bit. Still. Oh. Big stuck out game in here, dude. There we go, T-3485. Oh, I was maybe the only guy on that corner, actually. And then an enemy plane coming out as well. Hold on, I'm gonna set up for his... ...hex full. I started turning. You only get one mum, don't you? God, the elevation on this machine gun is pathetic. Ah. T1E1. Dead. Good. Right, Panther is pushing that corner now. We're gonna do something similar. Don't see anyone back there again yet. Is my team getting shot from over here? Oh damn it! I had a dip just as I fired. Unlucky. Someone in this bush, I think. The same going back was in forwards. You lucky but devil dude. Devil. Not the B word. Don't ban me, YouTube. Okay, not so lucky that time, but here come the enemies. My team flew a little bit too close to the sun, it would seem. Another big bomb. Enemy plane. Right, the whole enemy team is rushing here now, so I'm probably going to get shot from behind. Yes, I am going to get shot from behind. And I'm going to get shot from this behind. <laughs> oh dear. This has not worked out well. Should have stayed where I was. Right. My heavy tank's still alive on the cap. That's probably something I don't want to mess with in the area. Yeah? That smoke sucked, but it'll do. Hopefully, my teammates will come out now. Oh man, rock and roll, dude. He, he was coming no matter what, wasn't he? Right, Tigor. What else is in store for us on the corner of Doom? It's 
someone is a little bit further around there. I can't get past this husk. There's a big chat. Oh, there's a guy there. Right, he's smoking this little cut off. And I think whoever's here is probably going to be ready for me, is he? Nope. He has no idea. Good. <laughs> right. I've got a stream of reinforcements coming now. Or deep in enemy territory. Plenty of enemies left. This is really bad. Very good. I didn't have enough room to angle. Didn't matter though. What are the jumbos did I? I was going to say there's one coming now. Oh. I got a threat indicator somewhere. Probably here. Don't see it though. And I can hear some sort of vacuum cleaner coming. Where? <laughs> What, what am I actually hearing here? Down this street? There's a BTR. I don't think those things made that much noise. I'm getting impatient. Usually my downfall. Yeah, I was annoying my whole team, dude. Right, that's enough of your nonsense. Right, what's happening over here? Next street over, I think. There's nothing they can do, I don't think. Seems to be Jova. Appears to be. But there is a heavy tank down the street, so probably our jumbo, right? Don't be an eye as to whatever it is just fired. It's the jumbo and he just got exploded. By a gigantic bomb. Two thousand five hundred kilos. <laughs> oh my god, the, the, there's nothing left here. Two heavies pushing their Panzer 4H on that side, so I think I know where we're going now. Uh oh, and it's an IS one. That's the other thing that's down here. Zone full broadside to whatever's in the spawn. Yeah, fine with me. Find them. Alright, dude. Not a bad mob up, man. 14 killerinos. That will definitely do it. Three enemies left, and I can definitely hear somebody over here. I can't tell, though. Oh, he's getting shot at. So, not heavy. He's behind that mound, though. And he's getting shot at by somebody. The game is over though, for sure. That I'm playing in the background just pirouetting. And that's a GG. Not bad, dude. You still got it, Tigor. Oh, we are with Russia. Okay. 
USA, Israel, and uh, and France. Actually, what BR we have? It's uh, six seven. I want to try something different on this map. The obvious thing to do is uh, to go over towards A and then, you know, just win <laughs> by shooting people trying to leave us spawn. But see if we can get into some trouble. It's just kind of a cool spot here, but I'm not sure anyone's actually going to drive out and challenge me. Left side clear. This guy's behind this building, I think, coming around to my left. I can hear someone else, I think, maybe. There's a lot of 50 coming. Just hanging about until these enemies can decide what they want to do. Those are Jackson. Was that an enemy plane? Right, this guy is trying to get round behind me. And I don't like that, so we're going to have to find him. He's still going around. Oh, I'm in dangerous territory right now. I don't like this at all. He must hear me, man. There's no way he doesn't hear me. There's another one behind me. That's a big Pershing, dude. Right, what am I hearing around here? I can't hear nothing because of the planes. No, I think we're kind of clear. Was that the junky Pershing? Yes. Scary boy. Yeah, I'm really hearing something in front of me and I don't know what it is. It sounds like an M18 or something. I think he's... Okay, it was an MX-13. What a weird place to sit. Oh, there's an enemy T-34, I think is the guy that I just killed. Oh, one to my left here. But again, I'm really confused by the audio. It's a bit weird. I don't think I got scouted. Wait, my, my tiger's okay here. Right, that panther's doing a okay on his own. I'm, there's a lot of audio, but it's really confusing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, good. I want to be here. I don't like sitting between two spawns, mostly. Right, let's keep pushing back down towards the A cap. Because the enemy's definitely making a shove for it. I might be able to see this heavy tank down here from this angle. Negative. I cannot. Can I overpressure this guy? Yes. And the M18 doesn't know I'm here yet. Okay. And there's a guy in front of me. I might get shot from the spawn while I'm looking for this. Oh, this is really bad. They kill each other. Oh no! I got killed from the left, like I said. That's exactly what happened. Pushed a little bit too far, but we kept that flank away from the enemy, at least for a little while. Um, do we do 3 5 this? What are we looking like? Quite a lot of enemies. Um, Aircraft-wise... There was a P400 that I blew himself up. Uh, let's go 3D5. I've not played it for a while. I really like the Tiger. It's one of my favourite vehicles, actually. Good sturdy gun on it. What is that thing falling out of the sky? Oh, he's already dead. Oh, Fuckerwolf is actually also dead. 
It's the P400, he didn't blow himself up. I'm a little bit scared of him. As long as I'm going fast enough, it should not matter. That fucker will might spike him if I just keep climbing up here. We're getting C. That's normally a W. Okay. SPA is shooting this guy. I uh, don't see what's on A. Eh? Oh, I do, I do see it. Oh, the P400 crash trying to get the Fogger Wolf. It's a D34, he's just killed a NASA and he just died. No one pushing. Oh, there's two guys pushing B. Oh, an M22. Holy moly. I'm going to be going a little bit fast with this, probably. Nah, we're good. That guy's most certainly dead, too. I forgot. Oh, dear. Oh, it's an R3. But someone's 50 calling me. And there's an SPA down there as well. My bomb delay is very short. A half second. No use. Incredibly dangerous. That is not an M22 on the B cap. But he's got a friend here. Right, you, M22, can hold that big bomb for me, right? <laughs> ah, that's not very nice, is it? Yo, get that away from me, dude. Got out. Oh, an M19. But I think he's... Is he focusing more on our 110? He's not doing anything, actually. He's kind of like AFK. Or is he just staring at me specifically? I didn't get an ammo rack on that guy. Oh, his breeches are out. That is going to take him a long while to repair that. Right, get Jumbo. And then we'll swing around. Oh, that guy's burning to death. Stock, I'm imagining. Where's the super purging? No idea, but let's get this jumbo anyway. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. That's friendly, we're good. Oh, the guy put his fire out. No, it's a different one. Oh, that's an enemy plane who never even shot me down. Okay. Two more ground kills. Someone's back on B. That's probably the super purging, right? One, two. And maybe kill this guy through the back of his turret. Not quite, but we crit him. Oh, there's a lot of damage, dude, with this aircraft. It's very powerful. It's a game, dude. Very quick. Very clean. Alright, dude, here we go. We're on Cargo Porto. Who are we against? Oh, we've got Russia on our side. I don't see very many Russian tanks, though. Okay. Shouldn't be too much of a problem then. Smoden in Israel though. Definitely an issue of sorts. Gonna range to nine. There we go. I actually need to adjust this at some point. The increments I've got are far too big. This Chinese guy is gonna follow me directly behind me. I can just I just know. Oh, okay, I'm surprised he didn't die. Actually, I missed him. M51's everywhere, man. Dude, it's just M51 spam. I think that's too high. Ah, we're good. Oh, okay. Someone is retaliating, so it's time to back off. I'm not angled enough. I'm annoyed that M18 made it because it means I'm going to have to deal with him later. I'm going to send one off there and knock some of these trees down while I'm backing off. Just have to wait till he's fall now, right? Right, where's the guy that slung a shot at me? I actually don't see him. Oh, okay. Right, the M18 that was on A is probably due to come over this way soon. It's an AMX M4. Actually, kind of worried about that. We big chilling now. I want to do anything stupid. Oh, there's our Sherman here. Look, can I shoot through this container? Don't need to. Oh, my FV just killed that guy. Are you a jumbo? It's just a normal Sherman. I 
hide. What? You're a lot closer than I think, aren't you? It's a jumbo. I can't be bothered fighting you. Actually, you're not well angled enough, I don't think, Chief. To stop this from happening. Nope. <laughs> yeah. He's upset about that. Good old overpressure. Oh, there's our M18 is back. M19s. Did it. If you know about the overpressure thing, you can cause so much issues for the enemy, it's unbelievable. Right, there's a guy coming out of here somewhere, I need to keep backing off. He just killed a teammate and I, I forgot what it was already. It was literally two seconds ago, was. But he's behind this building on this side. Oh, yeah, there he is. It's an M22, I think. Can we. Can I destroy these uh, wooden blocks or are they permanent or permanent? I wonder if I can overpressure him. Oh no, he's in trouble. He's kind of weaseled his way back. Am I getting revenge bombed now? I just need to hit something solid in this little guy. And we're good. Right, that's going to increase his repair time. We're going to hit him with a HE. Oh, never mind, it won't. <laughs> I actually uh, damaged him a little with HE through the wood. The further I move up, the more problems he's going to have at killing me. Someone crossed, though. An M18. No. Unlucky little dude. I'm really surprised I haven't been chosen as a target for a bombing run yet. We're getting B by. This little dude charged me. You'll see what I'm doing in a second here. Assuming I actually make it over this direction. Oh, an M36. Far too low for that nonsense, boss. I don't really want to square up to this guy, but I'm more worried about him than an M22, of course. Uh, not sure if this is going to work out for you. Lord Nahichi. Angled? Oh, I have my transmission where well, I'm vulnerable to. I'm over angled as well. But he's gonna have to push up. That was a heat. No idea where it came from though. M51. I'm not gonna be able to damage this guy. But he's easily gonna kill me. He missed me. Oh, I'm still repairing. Right. The M22 is pushing me. That M36 is still alive, yeah? Oh, my KB2 is pushing the, the little guy as well. There goes the M36. Right. We can use this big solid bit of concrete now as some actual hard cover. Still not been picked as a target yet. I don't know what that little M22 is doing. Not a clue. We're getting B back again. Is that M22 shooting my KV? 
I have no idea what that sound was, but it didn't sound good. Okay, we do. What is happening over here? Who's hurting you? Or did you get bombed? Is that what happened? Oh, there is a M22 here. <laughs> He's just hiding behind them. It's okay. <laughs> we've, we've become friends now. Oh man. What is this M19 doing? He's just chilling. I'll teach him how to do a love heart. There will be no child murder today. It's nice that the KV2 also decided to be friendly. Oh no. Another child. Oh, there's two of them there. Oh no. He stopped, thank god. We are an asshole over there? Oh my god, that guy just flanked the entire enemy team. Airplane? Oh, big boy. Cannot get my gun high enough. That's a big bomb, but we are safe. <laughs> the M2 just killed that. M22 just killed that Easter bug. That's pretty funny. There doesn't seem to be much happening anymore. The little M22 is just kind of wandering around. Oh, he died. The Yak 9 doesn't know where he is, but that's GG. GG. He says, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Oh, I love the Tiger so much. The cannon's so good, and if you're at mid range, it's just so hard to deal with you. There's, of course, heat lobbers and APDS things, but just avoid fighting them. <laughs> just don't, don't drive out of full cover and fire at it, and you should be okay. Not every tank can deal with every other tank that they come across, and pretty much is the same for every vehicle except a very few of them but in the tiger E's case especially it comes down to how you use the tank and not just driving in like a lunatic and expecting to survive your armor isn't that good because it's flat so you have to react in a certain way in order to make it work anyway i hope you guys learned something today about mr tiger try just a little bit of angle not being too close to the enemy and you should do pretty fine the biggest difference is the shell though make sure you pick the right shell anyway i'm done for today i'm going to get this video uploaded hopefully out before midnight and i'll catch you guys again sometime this week to all the no, to everyone who supports me over on discord and patreon thank you guys very much i'm a little bit flustered looking at how many of you are thank you guys so so much dollar tier threes to get a shout out this ari sexy crow brand white wolf bofe cookie burb Destari, fearless germ goosebelly master zane mushy boy rusty satan karma stoyan toast mcgee war daddy rigged wolf and zig and to everyone over on Patreon, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Paul Wendrick, Cookie Muncher, FTM Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Anders Stormwind, Brandon aka The Flying Pickle, MB1, Kenobi, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Love of a Weasel, Maybe Cookie Burb Muncher, Not Cookie Munch Muncher, <laughs> Arise, Shaft, Tectonic, Tanks Gone World, The Anomaly Varian, Mortar and David, Pyrophoric, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye